Greetings, Cyberdogs! This is Rendog coming at you from the Great Railway in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. And there in the distance, you can see what we were working on in the previous episode. And that is a vertical dark room mob spawner, people. And as you can see, it has been worked on and it is looking as sweet. Damn! <laughs> I spent basically half of my Sunday building this freaking thing. And, um,. It is looking absolutely awesome, guys. I really love what I've done with all the wood and um, the shape of it and everything, guys. But, whoa! Whoa, you, you bastard! I'm speaking to the freaking cyber dogs, man. Come on! Come on, you butthole! <laughs> man, he, he sidestepped me. Anyway, guys, I've spent a lot of time on this mob trap. And I, I've had to spend a lot of time on it because it actually wasn't working. In the first rendition of the mob trap, it actually wasn't working. And thanks to you guys, and thanks to all of your advice, and all of the amazing feedback that you gave me on the video, guys, and on dogcraft.net, I have been able to complete this freaking mob trap. And believe it or not, it is actually working. It's not working as well as I'd hoped, but it is working. And what we had to do um, was increase the size of the spawner pads by um, about six blocks so so the spawner pads inside are now four by four um, and what we've also had to do was change the, the ends of the canals from wood to stone because light was actually getting through the wood and affecting the spawn rate and um, there were also a couple of light glitches inside the mob trap so I had to take care of those and of course what we need to do now guys in this episode is make sure that everything around the mob trap everywhere all of this stuff is torched up and lit up so that um, the spawn rate in the mob trap is going to be as high as possible um, so that all mobs that spawn while i'm in this vicinity spawn up there in that chamber and that is what we're going to do today we are on a hunt for darkness man we are going to be bringing the light to the freaking darkness around the molehole and it is going to be sweet damn and um man guys i have to say Without you guys and without your feedback, I would not have got this mob trap to work. So thank you so freaking much for all the feedback and all the help you've given me. Let's see if anything's fallen yet. There you can see. Look. Look there. There is our prize. The droppings of a creeper. Oh yeah, baby. This thing is starting to spit out mobs. It is so sweet, guys. But of course, we need to increase the, the spawn rate even further. Um, and we can do that by making sure that all the caves underneath the mole hole are completely lit up guys and thanks to you you guys have told me um in the in the previous video and on um, dogcraft.net that i need to make sure that there is just freaking there are no dark uh, places anywhere within 120 block radius of the um of the mob trap and guys for those of you who have been with me from the freaking beginning you'll know that underneath the mole hole is in fact a giant freaking cave system look at that man this is the the original uh, adventure shaft and we need to come back down here and make sure that there's absolutely no freaking light guys so in this in this episode we are going to be torching up this beer's nearest to hell man I've, I've got like check how many torches i've got in my inventory it's it's quite ridiculous really um so let's get busy. Let's get busy getting busy. And um, hopefully this is going to help increase the spawn rate um, in the mob trap. And then one, once we've done... Whoa, man. I thought, that, I thought I was about to drop off a cliff there. Once we've lit up the, the, the underground, we will then head to the overground and light up all the area around um, the mole hole also. Everywhere. So, um, a hundred, yeah, 120 blocks seems to be kind of um, everyone's consensus. Most people who have helped me out with this have said uh, 120 blocks from the center of the, mo the mob spawner is where you want to be lighting. Um, you want to be lighting up everything in that radius. Um, so basically any mobs that are spawning while we are at the mole hole are going to spawn in that chamber. And that's going to be the sweetest damn man. I'm so happy that this mob trap is working because we're now going to be able to get a whole bunch of materials that were otherwise pretty difficult to get. For example, um, dynamite um, we're gonna be able to make TNT baby because we're gonna get creeper poo um, on mass <laughs> and that's gonna be sweet man I can't wait to start working with TNT that means we can start blowing up you know really really big sections of um, of land and it's gonna help us also um, extend the mole hole because as you guys know the mole hole is built in a freaking mountain right and um, the mountain itself is pretty 
um, difficult to, to, to mine away. It, it takes a hell of a lot of time to mine away the mountains. So um, if we can start using TNT liberally, then that's obviously going to help a lot. Um, right, so I've torched up all of this place pretty well. But I know that the adventure shaft um, extended much further than just this. Where, where, did it, where did it go? Did it go over here? Ah, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. I knew there were th there was small little shafts coming out of this bad boy, and um, man, I have some sweet ass plans for the um, for the trees around the mole hole, um, and it's go oh man, it's going to be sweet. I'm not going to tell you guys yet. Come on, get your torch on. Just give me the light. Just give me the light. Oh Lord. Woo! Damn. And I'm dicing with death. Okay, well, I, I mean, I haven't heard a, a single spawn from anywhere yet. Um, have you guys heard anything spawn? No. That's good. That is a good thing. Alright, so. I think I think we're pretty good here, man. We have. We have lit up this adventure shaft to hell and, and back again. And um, why don't we go back to the original ravine also um, and head downwards. Because I know that the ravine connects up to the adventure shaft at some point. Um, let's make sure that we fix everything nicely. Clean up this business. More hole, I'm sorry that I had a break, yes. Alright, there we go, guys. Sweet. Let's see if we've had any other. Oh yeah, look at that man. A skeleton and a freaking zombie have spawned and died. <laughs> yes. This is so sweet, guys, seriously. Um Right, let's go down the original shaft in Hunt of Light. I mean, we are basically. We are light hunters. I mean, we are darkness hunters right now, baby. We are going to be killing all the freaking darkness around this this mother biatch. Ouchies. No spawning is going to happen here. Ah, uh, you see, listen to that. I hear the sound of zombie. And that is not good. Where are you, you bastard? You shall not spawn. <laughs> oh man, just made myself lol. See, I think this connects up to the, the original adventure shaft, right? Hmm, maybe not. But anyway, all of, all of this, ca this entire cave system, we need to make sure is completely lit up. Because this is definitely within 120 blocks of, um, of the spawner. So, the more you can light up, the better, right? We've just gone, we've just gone literally in, in a circle, but that's cool. Because we are freaking darkness hunting. Man, that is a lot of coal. If ever I need coal, I know where to come. Alright, let's get this place lit up, man. I mean, I may be going a little bit overboard with the torches, but... The theory is sound. No light equals more loot for me. So yeah, man, the spawner is making us um, bones also, which is really awesome for bone meal. Man, what the hell? Oh lord! The ocean! <laughs> Oops. My curiosity got the best of me. Wow, how that torch survived that flood is nobody's business. Right, well, let's just get a torch up here. Alright, guys, so this is looking good, man. This is looking good. The darkness is being murderized. I mean, I have to say, I never thought in my wildest imagination that um, at some point in Minecraft I would be running around killing the darkness. <laughs> That's what I love about this game, man. It's so unpredictable. Ooh, I'll have this irons. Thank you very much. How did I miss this in the first place, man? Oh, you know what, guys? While we're here, um, a lot of you guys have mentioned that um, I may have left some diamonds in the original um, 
on the in, when I went on the original adventure, and I do believe that that is the case. Um, man, maybe we'll find them again. I I honestly can't remember where um, I left them. Ooh, there seems to be some sort of a thing up now. Yeah, I can't. I seriously, I can't remember where I, I, I left them. I'm gonna have to go back and watch the um, let, watch that episode. Stop flowing! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Just pressing all the buttons. Stop it! Oh man, you guys hear that siren? Something, something is going on in London. week guys this is looking good everything is lit up to hell man I'm kind of I'm kind of um, itching to go find that those diamonds now actually now that, now that I've been talking about it but um, I can't remember hello you bastard you're not supposed to be here eat my sword Ooh, my lord. See, now this is what we're talking about. Actually, this is where the diamonds are. Isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Well, there's only one way to find out. Ooh, irons. It seems our, our, our hunt for light adventure has turned into um, a mining adventure too. Hi, Dons. Get in the belly. Whoa, guys. What is going on here, man? We've, wait, we've been here, right? Because we, we would have laid these blocks. My question is, why didn't we take the irons? Well, we're going to take them now. Oh, yeah. I don't actually know if I made this. Swim up the waterfall. Block off the water source. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if we're going a little bit too far here. Holy Lord! Oh my God! Oh my goodness, people! Okay, so this is this has come back to the original shaft. Can I help you? Can you not see that I'm busy? Butthole. Oh look, there's actually more here. So I think actually this is worth lighting up. Um, I think it's... Whoa! Ouch. Steak, get in my belly. Man. Yeah, this is definitely worth lighting up. It's definitely worth exploring too, man. We haven't this this a lot of loot here to be to be taken. The only problem is we don't have a lot of food because we didn't. I didn't expect for us to suddenly hit uh, an adventure. Okay, but check where we've come out now. We found another exit, which is which is good. I think. Well, it certainly indicates we're close to the surface, so it's good that we've lit this place up for sure. Faux shizzle. Okay, so let's head back down into... Whoa, check at this. Guys, this is an absolutely ridiculous cave system below the, the mole hole. It's absolutely ridiculous, right? I mean, I don't think we even realized how huge it is when we first came exploring. There's, there's still so much to explore here. We're gonna, I think we're going to have to come on a... On an adventure shaft adventure where we're dedicated to literally just mining out everything out of this this whole area i mean check out this place it's just it's massive this is awesome though guys that we're lighting up everything 
man, our, our freaking mob spawn is be going going to be going crazy. I mean, the problem is this giant ravine is probably affecting my spawn rate in the mob spawn also, just because um, it's so huge and there's there's just so much darkness. You know that it's going to be difficult to like. Hopefully, that the the bottom of the ravine is is much more than 120 blocks away. All right, so. Let's dig down. And then what we can do is, as we're going down, we can light up also. Oh man, I'm sniffing diamonds. I'm pretty sure that um, this is where we originally found and left diamonds. Hey, you bastard. Eat it. Oh god. Darkness not good. Darkness not good. Oh my lord. Check out this massive cavern. Oh lord. Oh my god, guys. This is crazy. Oh man, to be adventuring again. <laughs> this is so sweet. We haven't done this in a while, actually. This is freaking exciting. Damn, there's so much stuff to be gotten here. I'm definitely going to be picking up this gold that we just found. I can't believe how massive this cave system is. Seriously, it's, it's freaking me out. Get in my belly. Alright, sweet guys, sweet. Check even more irons. Block it up. Block. Sweet. Okay, so let us head downwards um, in search of the freaking, in search of the diamonds loots in the bottom of the ravine. I'm pretty sure that I left, um, I left some diamonds down there. Let's go check it out. In the meantime, let's make sure that we're just lighting up everything. Oh my goodness gracious. Do. Do, 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 do. Man, it's been so sweet, guys. This has been been a really good sort of last um, five or six episodes of this series. It's been so sweet. Um, we recently launched dogcraft.net, which is like a, a community for for all the cyber dogs to go hang out and that's doing really well and everybody's really happy there and having a sweet time and oh man the dogolith has received like you guys are really really happy with the dogolith so that is awesome um, man it's just it's just good times all around man i'm just enjoy, en enjoying doing this series so much with you guys it's been so sweet i'm so glad that i that i decided to do this series um i don't know how long ago was it now it's been a it's been a couple months But it has been rewarded. Alright. I think this is the giant ravine, right? See, if I had done my job properly and lit up everything from the beginning, then we wouldn't be ha having to do this. We are definitely lost, though. That's for sure. Uh, I know where we are. I, I recognize this mushroom corridor. Whoa. Do you hear that? That be a slime, my friends. I hear me a slime, and I want me a slime. Man, this has been a sweet freaking episode. Holy crap, I hope we can find the slime, though. Man, the, enorm the enormity of this, ca of this cavern continues. Oh, hello there. Hello, my little friend. Eat sword. Look at them both just looking at me. <laughs> They're like both such... It's just sad face. They're like, oh, sad face. 
I'm gonna die. Yes, you are gonna die. Soz. Oh my god, guys. This is absolutely insane, man. We're actually running out of torches. I, I, I made like a thousand. You guys are hearing that, right? Let's see if we can hunt him down. Slimy! I don't want to hurt your ass. Ow. I do want to hurt your ass, though. Hmm. That sounds pretty dodgy. What are you doing over here, man? Just chilling. Alright, let's go looking for that slime, guys. I think it is in this, this direction. No! We lost the sound. you are. Hello, you little bastard. Eat my sword and give me your slime. I need it for sticky pistons. Die, you little bastards. All of you. Ha 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 Slime massacre. Oh man, I love killing slimes. They're like the best. Definitely the, one of the best units in any game, man. Seriously. Oh, that was so, so satisfying. Where the last is. Um, right, guys, we are running out of inventory space, which means um, it's almost time to head on home. But we didn't find we didn't find the freaking diamond. Get in my belly, you slams. Actually, I don't know if I if I want slimes in my belly. Come to think about it. There's some weird stuff going on down there. Let's go check it out. Where water and lava collide. My goodness, people. All right, guys. Well, I think that um, we're pretty much done here for now. We're definitely going to have to come back um, at some point because there is just so much freaking loot and stuff to get in here. It's, it's insane. Look at this, man. It's just there's gold everywhere. There's there's so much iron. We have so much more exploring to do down here. It's it's unbelievable. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the job that we've done so far. Have we been down here? I don't think so. Sweet. Alright guys. I think we're going to try and head back up now. Back to the molehole. To the safety of the hole. Um, we've put down like two stacks of torches. So we've definitely lowered the spawn rate of um, mobs and stuff down here. Which is good. Let's just pick this up. Ah, oh, we don't need that lapis. We've got a ton of lapis, man. Listen to that, though. There's there's loads of spawning going on around here. Not cool. Not cool. Okay, so here's a pillar. Man, do you guys remember coming down here? It was good times. We are definitely coming back down here very, very soon, man. We have a freaking huge adventure to do. I want to I wanna get through this cabin like nobody's business. Hey, you bastard. What's up? Just lighting up your baby business. I'm in your base lighting up your shit. Bluey. Man. 
This has been intense. Man, I'm in such a good mood today. I'm in such a Minecraft mood today. I feel like I'm playing pretty well also, like swapping through my um, my tools very quickly. My APM's pretty high. It's just, ah, uh, man, it's just, it just feels good to be Minecraft. All right, guys, well, I tell you what, we're going to head back home. And um, in the next episode, maybe we'll come and try and find that diamond. Because I don't think that that is the giant ravine. Well, this is the giant ravine. What I need to do is find that huge pillar of lava that we originally um, made a, like a, a ladder down. Because that is how we get home. We might as well continue with our lighting expedition. Oh man, this, I can't believe how much more there is to explore. It's just it's, it's making me sick. And I'm sure there's a ridiculous amount of uh, freaking diamonds to find up in here or so. That doesn't work. Right, let, let us go up the water vader. Alright guys, well I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I've enjoyed playing it, man. It has been sweet. I've been having loads of fun just um, just running around, lighting up everything, finding some loot here and there. And um, in the next episode, we are probably going to carry on lighting. I think what we're going to try and do is start lighting outside um, also. Just so that we can start, you know, um, dropping the spawn rates outside the mole hole as well as inside the mole hole so um man it has been sweet ah oh, sweet man seriously dudes this is awesome i, I don't want to stop playing but i'm running out of hard drive space <laughs> this is the problem man i need a new computer that's all i'm saying whoa <laughs> oh man that guy came out of nowhere all right guys well it has been seriously fun playing this episode with you guys this has been Randog playing minecraft survival remember if you enjoyed the episode hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet please freaking subscribe guys and go t check out dogcraft.net come and join the pack guys it's a place where you can come and hang out and chat to all the other cyber dogs this has been Randog playing minecraft survival guys we'll see you in the next episode good freaking bye goodbye goodbye bye 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 b